Good morning, grandkids. We are back in Brightwood Cottage. I'm sorry that I could not make it through Dumsbavar, but that just got too much for me. And uh, Lucian had ran away, and I was supposed to be getting some more dialogue from him shortly after where we left off at. and. Uh, so that wasn't happening, and uh, I couldn't proceed without it, and uh, so I just left. I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I'm sorry, modders, uh, if I <laughs> disappointed you, <laughs> but uh, it just wasn't working right. And uh, so here I am, back in the cottage. This is going to be the last video of this series. It was just a mini-series to uh, show you the different things about this cottage and about my bow uh, that the modders created for my character that they are creating for you to play with in Skyrim SE. Uh, after the mod comes out, when you start a new game and get me for your follower, she comes with this house and with this bow you see strap, strapped on my back, which is a wonderful, wonderful bow. And uh, there is even a room in this house with a chest of its own and a, and a wardrobe of its own for her grandkid, which will be you, player. <laughs> so you will get to stay in this house, have access to all the facilities within it, and I will show you these things again because so many people ask me questions that are answered in the first one or two introductory videos of this series if you would just bother to go back and watch it. I don't have time after every video to answer all those kind of questions that are easily answered for you if you would just go back to the beginning of the series. This is a short series. All you have to do is click on the first one and the second one. So, this being the last video of the series, I am going to show various things in the house so that you will have somewhat of a conclusion. Also, see uh, Lucian back there in the kitchen? I told him to wait out there with Carjo, I mean Anigo. He said, okay, and has just started walking around all over the place doing whatever the heck he feels like doing. So we will have to put up with him walking between us sometime so all right here is the alchemy station look at the things look at the things they did with like the book and everything is just so cool uh they did after i asked they put in some chests for me to use and for you to use when you get the mod whenever it comes out uh, uh, there weren't any before and uh, there's bookcases full of books full of books but downstairs you will see a wonderful bookcase here's our kitchen table and our really cool fireplace um, there was a really neat ship sitting up on the fireplace. Every time I come in, it's back down in the floor. But this time, it's not even in the floor. I don't know where it has disappeared to. But then outside, I didn't show you because it's so ugly. So much of the rock and landscape is just 
smoothed out nothing. It didn't, it didn't uh, materialize right. I guess it screwed up because I had to get out of Dumb's Bazaar by going back, way back, to a previous saved game in order to get out. It brought, it, it was back at the dock where we was going to leave for the soul time to go to the Dumb's Bazaar Dwemer Ruin. So it sort of screwed up the game getting out of there when I wasn't supposed to. Sorry about that. So we just won't even look outside. Well, we will, but you'll just have to deal with it. Uh, let's go upstairs. That's, that's really, I think, the main things down here. Well, no. Up here is a little alcove. I thought it would be a great place for Lucian or for your second uh, follower, if you get a second follower to sleep. He can lay here and play the loop. And this is a ballad of Gansey. There are little Easter eggs hidden around throughout this house and outside for you to find, which refers back to previous series that I have made. So if any of the longtime followers of my uh, Skyrim channel will find these Easter eggs, they will know who these different things are about. If you remember Gansey, here is a song for them to sit here and read. I just think it is so cool that they place these things around for all for all of the um, followers who have followed along from the beginning throughout my all my different series will recognize. Look at this post wanted poster. There's Garrett Deadeye. I wonder what he did that they've got to... <laughs> I, I don't remember er, ending that series with him uh, hightailing it out of here. <laughs> I don't even remember. But he did something that everybody's after. 10,000 reward for him. Doesn't say dead or alive, thank goodness. <laughs> I think that was all of the, that was the two Easter eggs that was in the house. Oh, here. Here is Browd's Blade. Remember Browd the Blade? His main quest through life was, was finding this blade that his mother had dreamed about. She had seen a vision of him holding it when, as he was being born. So he was on a quest always to find that blade. And when it became his, he used it to good advantage. That's the blood skull blade. Now let me see what else is up here. I shouldn't be showing you the Easter eggs actually because they are for you. They are for the long-time watchers to discover. Shoot, I shouldn't have been showing them again. Oh, well. Look, there. I think that this is Cadmant. All right, let's go upstairs to the bedrooms. There's your little balcony overlook. Here's my... Here is the follower, Shirley Mon, that 
you can have to play with. This is this is her bedroom. While I was living here, Vienna, it was her bedroom. But this will be the Grandma Shirley Maud's room bedroom. More books. This is her wardrobe. Desk. Chest. Bed. Chest. There's no place like home. And this is where Leanna hung the axe of white white run. I don't know what you might put there, whatever you wish. And here is the grandkids' bedroom. That means yours when you make a game and get me as a follower. You can sleep here. You have your own chest here. I haven't even opened this ugly outfit. I will leave it for you to open when you play the game. And here's your own chest. And uh, <laughs> there's your sweet roll recipe. And there's a, a couple of weapons rack there. A sword rack up there or a bow. So it until you find a place of your own if you want why well, this is a place where you can stay with your follower i don't think there was any easter egg on the wall yeah but i thought that's pretty cool that the modders put a place in there for the person who's playing the game to stay because he's because he's the grandkid of your follower I wish you'd what? shut up Lucian no, it really Christmas. Would be a shame. okay let's go downstairs oh I didn't show you this corner you can't you can't really uh, dab the brush on there and and some picture materialize this is just for looks for uh, enjoyment you can just pretend that you can sit here and uh, paint. I think it's a cute little corner. I, on this weapons rack, put uh, a bunch of orkish weapons. Uh, they had stuck some forlorn outfit here. Uh, I picked it all up so that I can sell it because they gave me, the modders did, they gave me a forewarn, forsworn outfit because I thought it looked more druidish than wearing shaman robes. They're ugly. I think I think this looks much better for somebody that had been raised by shamans and magicians and storytellers in the woods, out in the forest. She looks more druidish this way. So they made me that out, gave me that outfit and had modded it for me, so. That that was laying in the corner, I picked up. Uh, I either sold it or I still have it to sell. Um, I don't think that that will be in the modded version when you get it. The bow will be. Isn't that cool? It's made out of a piece of the of the uh, oh that tree where you have to go get the sap to heal the tree in the middle of white run. And it, and it has its leaves on it. I just think that's so cool. And look, the center of it is a uh, the bark stripped off so you have can hold it. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. I love it. Um, okay. Here's where I keep my drinks. Look at this. Look at that steel armor is. That's there for show. It doesn't uh, come off or anything. Here's where I have uh, some things stashed. My lunar steel mace. Uh, 
token that I got in a quest and staff of hags rat wrath that I got in that in that neat all right now let's go around this place from let from right all the way around counter clockwise here here I can't harvest that look at my stuffed bear I love him. Look, they got a whole wagon wheel leaning against my table. Oh, look, something's happening. This wasn't here before. The bellows is laying here. It belongs over there in the workstation. That, I don't know where that came from. This is just holding some rich man's clothes in a locket. Why is this ancient Nord greatsword? Why is that laying there? Oh. I cannot put anything up where I want it. That I think that belongs up there, but it does not belong right there so we're gonna lay that down there on the floor now stay put I didn't even click on that and it opened this is my sword that the modders made it's called the rose and if I can get in close enough see it has a rose on the and stems from the rose bush with leaves on it isn't that cool look at this marvelous book it's the provenance of the rose, so you can read that. Uh, there's a circlet. I, I don't believe it's enchanted. Uh, I'm afraid to click on anything in these. There's a ring because, as you can see, I can, I can mess up anything. I cannot get things put back in these neatly when I take them after I take them out. Yeah. I wonder where that stuff came from. I mean, maybe that helmet was up there. I forget. I'd have to look at an old episode. And this may have been up there. But that bellows wasn't over here. It was way over there. All right, let's keep going. There was something up there on that shelf, too. Here's a... Just a bunch of Corbin metal. A potion and a scroll. Look. See this? The hammer of ostracism. That was up there. I'll never get it back up there. I'm glad this is the last episode. That's just some uh, steel or iron armor. Look at that cool shield and weapon. Nice. All right. Here's another display case. I love leather armor. I always like to have that in any series I play. Look at my stuffed saber tooth cat. Look at him. This table is just a table. It holds some things. Uh, that glass dagger of binding. Look at the cool Dwemer helmet. Oh, that one, I don't think, has anything in it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Idiot, I'm not going to try to put it back down there. Now, when they first made this mod, they only had this one chest in here, and I had to put 
everything in there. Weapons, ingots, ore, uh, al alchemy ingredients, everything had to go in there. And then at any station I was at, I'd have to run over here and get whatever I needed. So I guess in one of the first one or two videos I mentioned that. I didn't mean to be complaining about it, but I did mention it because it was too inconvenient for me. So they made me some more chests over there, but we'll get to that. Uh, this little center area is just wonderful. This is such a cool place to sit. There's two chairs for me, the follower, and for you, the player. And there's a book to read. Beautiful pink tree. And this I love. Can you hear the, the water? Oh, I just turned my headset up so I could hear it really well. I love this feature a lot. It's my favorite feature, I think. You can harvest that hanging moss and I guess it comes back. I haven't tried. Okay, over here is my workstation. I didn't have a smelter, so they put that in for me. And look, they built it into the wall instead of just having a big old smelter sitting out in the room. I love it. That's my second favorite feature. Now, I didn't have anywhere to separate ingots and ores and leather and pelts. So they, they had this feature here, but there were no chests. So they made this for me. Uh, and I left it open. See that? There's a gate that protect, protects my stuff if any thieves come in. So you open it. These are not weapons you can take down. They're just hanging there. But this one is where I keep my pelts and furs and uh, any bones that I might have. This is where I keep my ingots. And this is where I keep my ore. So I'm all set to go while I'm working here. I love love this smelter. They did a great job with that. I love that. We got benches to sit on. And here's my alchemy station. I, I have a chest under there. That was not in the floor before. I had, They gave me a chest here to put my ingredients in. Thank God. <laughs> There's my strong box for jewels. Chanter's primer. Another scroll. A common soul gem. This book. This book just looks cool. And this, inspect Mr. Floaty. Isn't he cute? Just a cute light shining in there. It, you, you don't pick it up and take it with you or anything. He's just there like a pet. Staring at the strange floating ball of light, you feel almost as though it's alive and staring right back at you. You feel no discomfort from this, however. In fact, it's oddly warm and peaceful. And somehow you know that Mr. Floaty feels the same way about you. Perhaps one day you will delve deeper into the mystery surrounding this creature. But for now, this bizarre understanding that you have between you is enough for both of you. Isn't that cute? 
that means that someday they might add something else to know about that or even make him more sentient. That would be such fun. But I don't know. Whatever they want to do, it's them that's modding this place. <laughs> I'm just thankful to have it. There's another chest they put here. Now, here we are at the bookcase. This, other than all the books in all the bookcases around the house, has all the books of Skyrim in it. And the ones that might not be in here are out in the other bookcases, I presume. Uh, like the Wolf Queen books. They aren't in here, all the numbers, I don't think. Aren't there more than eight? I'm not sure. Maybe there, maybe there isn't. If there is, they're out in the other bookcases. Oh, and all these, Song of Palin, Palinal, Palinal, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Is eight all there is of them? I don't know. The Sultry Argonian Maid I've heard of, but I never heard of the Sultry Argonian Bard. Oh, take. I don't want to take. All right. Where did, I don't know where it's at now. Oh, well. So we've been all around it. If there is any more Easter eggs, I haven't found them. So let's go back upstairs and go outside. You will see what a crappy mess it turned into. Aw, and Nigo, you are so cute. He got tired of standing there waiting. <laughs> Just sit down. He looks so casual and relaxed. Are you comfy? Are you going to paint me a picture? <laughs> and Lucian, I don't know if he's still sitting in the kitchen or what. Um, oh, he's sitting over there by the fire. All right, let's leave them to it. And uh, you know, you notice that they're not close together. Uh, oh, hey! It looks okay out here now. There was a big, huge, huge hill right here. It was half into the porch and everything, and it looked like melted wax. And back there, the snow covering, this was all looked like melted wax. Oh, I'm so glad it fixed itself. But here's the other Easter egg for you to see. Look at this cute little ingredients garden. You can come up here and turn around and sit down and look at the lights like what what are the, these from Morrowind or Oblivion anyway I think they're so cool here I think I saw them the developers talking about changing these I hope they don't because I love these anyway let's look at this here's the Easter egg Activate Cadamit's Grave. In honor of Cadamit, beloved husband, merchant, adventurer, and friend, you leave behind a legacy and you will be sorely missed. Rest easy, Cadamit. May you watch over Whiterun in death as you did in life. There's where my heart should have been. That was the last thing he said at the end of his video when he was looking back, dismissed his followers and watched them walking away from him down the hill. He was looking back at Whiterun, thinking about Lydia, whom he just left because she wanted a divorce. 
and said, there's where my heart should have been. And it shouldn't, because all he wanted to do is go out and adventure. Adventure. And when he was at home, he hardly ever said two words to Lydia, except, have you got any money for me? <laughs> so, I love it that they put that there as his last words. But I think that's so sweet. And that's, that's just such a wonderful little place. And then there's this little terrace out here with a place to sit, put a drink or a book, and just look out over all the way to High Hrothgar. See the wizard's little enclave? Way up there on the tippy top is where Parthenax sits. And isn't this cute? You can't use it, but it's there to look like. You could just stand there and look at things close up. Isn't this wonderful? And right down the path, down below and around those rocks right down there, is Drela's Cottage. So you can come to there and walk up the hill or winding around the edge, edge of the rocks. To Brightwood Cottage. I want it to be daylight when I leave. I should have done that quickly. Sorry. So there's the little cottage of the follower that you will get to have someday when they ever get through with it. I hope it'll be pretty soon. <laughs> but I just I just think it's very sweet of them to be making a mod in the first place. I think uh when you make a new character and start a new game and get me as a follower that you are going to have a beautiful spot to stay with her as her grandkid the Brightwood Cottage so I hope you at least somewhat enjoyed watching this little short mini-series of Leanna uh, sorry, I couldn't finish uh, Dumspadar Ruins, but it, it just was st stressing me out too bad, and I can't handle too much stress. So, had to get out of it. Sorry about that. You can handle it better when you play the game. Because if you get Lucian as a follower, it's part of his mod. So, I'm going to leave it here, grandkids. And... I hope to see you in the next video. Remember that Friday the 18th is the anniversary date, five years since I first recorded and uploaded a video. So I'm going to start a brand new Skyrim series uh, for that celebration. and. Along the way, in between the videos, I will be having mini-series. So I will see you all later. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this, grandkids. Be good, be kind and loving and respectful in the comments. And I will see you the next time. Bye-bye, grandkids.